Hello and welcome back to the Hard West. Uh, we uh, have accompanied Solomon the last time uh, through all of his struggles to finally get back to the laboratory and we're now about to uh, shoot his uh, former, um, I don't know, it was another researcher, his, his, his uh, largest rival, the uh, researcher Truman Man. And uh, Solomon plus his bodyguards will face whatever uh, Trumaman brings with him. Solomon concentrates on how he could use the meteor to cure the madness. He was feeling blazingly intelligent. His relentless emphasis kick-started an unprecedented fit of successful research. Eureka! Solomon shouted as he put the final bolts uh, onto his sanity machine. Then he gathered uh, the Pinkertons in the laboratory and explained what needed to be done in order to activate it. That's exactly where we are going to proceed to combat. Here we go. Trumer Cliff. Delir was putting the final touches on his masterpiece when the madman closed in. If he could get power to the machine, it would invert the meteor's energy. It might cure them, it might kill them. Either way, it would stop them. Nice. Okay, so we gotta switch on the machine here and here and here and here and here and here. So Solomon must uh, use the required number of levers. Fair enough. Let's take a look. Where do we find him? That's where he is. Before we take any lever, let us investigate where we would need to go. I do have a strong suspicion that we're going to be attacked from here. Yeah, there we go. It's actually difficult to find proper uh, proper cover here, so we might want to really use this half cover for now. This here is Truma Cliff. Uh, we're going to start off with shooting a bullet at him. Uh, he is now movement impaired and he should uh, be crippled, so he should take additional damage turn uh, uh, every turn. I'm just hoping that they are not going to uh, uh, they are not going to join us from this side. So let's move up to here. This does not seem to be an area where they are uh, actively coming from. So we're moving out. Basically, I'd like to take the front, uh, the front uh, row of windows, and then cover one of the sides as well. We're fixing the first lever. Solomon restored partial power, but not enough to start the device. Let's see where the enemy is at. It's pretty clear that they are trying to rush.
And they might have a numbers advantage. A slight numbers advantage. There's one person here. Just trying to figure out what a uh, what a good position could look like. I think we're best off using this sort of cover here. Gosh, did he really just? Avoid taking damage. That's interesting. He had more than 70 luck. Um, where is the person uh, that had shoot at every target inside? Far is the shot if it any uh, every target inside up to six targets well i think now is the time to use this ability here we go trimmer cliff froze and fell to the ground dead Gosh, it's always just a little bit too short. You know what? Let's make sure that this guy is going to die. He has the artery shot. If he moves next turn, he's going to die. Increasing our maximum luck and I think we're going to use Shriek next turn just to deal three damage to everyone. The AOE, AOE damage seems to be extremely potent when we're dealing with so many enemies and the one guy oh so he he decided to move after all and died Okay, so moving around the corner, seeing this guy, and all oh, these guys need to be uh, seem to be extremely lucky. I'm not sure if this is going to trigger his infamous shot again. It's not. Okay. I think uh, that is thanks to uh, Shadow Cloak. Let's see. I mean, by moving here, we should see this guy, right? No, obviously not.
we can still only see one of them. Hmm. Let us change weapons again. And get them out of their full cover. Shall we? So, ricochet. This here should kill him. Very nice. guys in full cover and he still has too much luck so let's reduce his luck first and now give him an artery shot Oh, he still had too much luck. My bad. Alright, it seems we're just going to have that little shootout with the guys. But I'm fine, we have the, uh, we have the higher numbers. Fighting with number advantage in this game is is really helpful because ultimately we're uh, or at the end of the day we're uh, we're just taking uh, more shots and therefore we'll be able to kill these guys faster than they will be able to kill us. Plus we have a, he a massive health advantage. up and we're taking a couple of shots Only one madman, uh, one enemy left, which I think we can now use uh, our turn with Solomon to actually get all of the levers. There's still one of the thugs uh, left over, okay. Good to know, good to know. Reload, and I think we might even be able to kill her with a ricochet. No? 
That's not it. Hiding behind the boxes. Clever. Clever. And we're ten luck short of a uh, golden bullet. That could kill her, so let's drain her. Let's drain her luck with this shot here, and the next shot should uh, should then hit and kill her. Ricochet or three damage. There are no more enemies. means we can just activate all of the levers and we're done. I'm not sure if the scenario was designed to be played that way, we just decided to kill everyone. Trotman, or however he was called, did not even uh, survive the first uh, round. Solomon restored full power. The machine came to life on its own. Suddenly, a blinding flash suffused the battlefield along with a thunderous blast. The power of the meteor, now inverted, invaded every mine in the area. All in the vicinity were cleansed of madness, but in its place, only blanks remained. Some awoke as from a bad dream, others stared emptily. Several dropped dead. Over the next few weeks, Pinkertons appeared by the dozen to help rebuild the town. The crisis was over. Delir vowed to protect the machine until it was needed again. Nice. We just solved uh, the, uh, the sanity engineer. Uh, this was the second scenario. And I am trying to decide which one we're going to play next. It appears that this here is kind of the storyline of, um, of Solomon. I'm not sure. I suppose... We can follow that storyline first and then give it a go and see if we can uh, do the storyline of War uh, Warren. I really like Warren and somehow Solomon seems to be connected with him or it's just a side storyline. I've, I've, I haven't really fully understood it yet. Um, but the next one is going to be Law and Order. So stay tuned for that. If you like what you've seen, uh, comment down below and give it a thumbs up. Uh, we're jumping into Law and Order next.